Hey guys, this is the Never Ending Reader and I'm Brittany and I'm here with the Thank You Next book tag. I've been seeing this book tag floating around booktube for like quite some time now, a couple weeks maybe, week two, I don't know. So I thought um, I'm just going to give it a go. So the first question is name a book that you said thank you next to. So the only book that I like DNF'd really this year that's like even relevant is Queen of the Damned by Anne Rice. Um, I thank you next this book because ugh, I just couldn't get into it for the life of me and I think I was just like in a very bad reading mood every time I picked this up. It was like I felt like an obligation to read it or something and I don't like to feel obligated to do anything. So yeah, but just to be clear, I am going to read this and finish this someday, but that day is not today. Question number two is name a book that taught you love, and for this I'm going to go with Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Um, as you guys know, I love this book so much. I love it with everything inside my heart. Um, I'm not going to go into synopsises in this video because that would be insane and take way too long, but yeah, I absolutely adore this book. It is annotated all over the place. I have so many feelings, most of them love, but yeah, if I've ever been in love with a book, it is this one. Question number three is name a book that taught you patience, and for this I'm going with the Harry Potter series. Um... I could also say this for love and pain, but that could be true for like any of these books. Um, I picked this for patience because I remember literally waiting so long for every installment of these books to be released. I remember being at the midnight releases for the books at the bookstore. I would pre-order them and then I would wait and I would get my hands on it and I wouldn't sleep for like two days and I was just like a little kid, but... Um, that was some patience if I've ever seen it and same goes for the movies I was at every I have been at every midnight premiere since like I think Gobble to Fire um even Fantastic Beasts ones and you know I waited until midnight for the cursed child like which we don't talk about her but um yeah I this is patience if I've ever seen it and after watching the crimes of Grindelwald which was garbage um I think I'm gonna have to have a lot more patience to carry on with the Fantastic Beast franchise because ew what was that that was just like the worst movie ever so yeah question number four is name a book that taught you pain and for this I'm going with the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid look the pain that I felt internally reading this book it wasn't a bad pain. It wasn't like, ew, this is garbage. I'm in pain because I, like, waste my time. No. This was, like, pain. Like, I am crushed. I will never be the same. I am hurt to my core. Like, this was so good, but it was just, like, a knife to the chest, basically. So, quickly, The Seven Husbands of Eve Evelyn Hugo is about a woman named Evelyn Hugo, and... She is like a Hollywood starlet and she contacts like a journalist and asks this woman to kind of um, document her life, like a memoir basically. And so the journalist comes to Evelyn's home and Evelyn tells her all about her life and all of her seven husbands and everything she's been through and just like, wow, the pain. Question number five is to name a book that you loved at the time that you read it, but in hindsight you might not like it that much. And for this I'm going to go with Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Um, it's not that I don't think I would love it as much. I just, I read this at a time where I was like just getting into young adult and so like the bar was so low <laughs> um, as far as young adult um, genre I guess goes, but I was absolutely enthralled with this when I read it and I think I would still adore it but I don't think that I would like it as much if I were to reread it which um spoiler alert I plan to reread this soon but yeah 
that's my answer. Question number seven is name the book that you are currently talking to or have the hots for and for that I'm going with Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Mass. Um, look I don't have the hots for this yet but technically I'm talking to it because I'm reading it. I think I'm like 20 pages into it. 28. I hate Cal. I hate Cal so much. I don't like Cal. I don't like him. I don't want to read this. But, like, everyone says that he, there's some, like, redemption and whatnot, so maybe, I don't know, maybe this will just get better, but I'm currently talking to this guy, and, yeah. And the last question is, name a book that gone last, the book of you, and for that, I'm going to say The NeverEnding Story. Um, as you know by my channel name, The NeverEnding Reader, I love this book so much it means so much to me in like so many different ways it's attached to like my favorite memories ever um and it's such a beautiful story too so like this this really like was there for me in like monumental moments of my life like i can remember reading this book in such incredibly important moments of my life like i first read this book as a teenager I think I was 15 and me and my best friend um we went to the library and we checked out a stack of books like the size of our bodies and we went back to her house and we sat in her bedroom and read all of them we didn't even speak to each other for like a week and a half but we laid in her bed together and we both just read 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 forever and like, I'm a high school dropout, I dropped out and got a GED and went to college, but, um, anyways, like, just weird childhood stuff, but, um, we had a lot of time over hands, because we were both dropouts, and so, that's what we would do together, and that's how I discovered this book, just by checking out so many, and then locking ourselves inside her room and reading them obsessively, and so, that was like my favorite memory that this is attached to because unfortunately um she is not with us anymore and i miss her so much every single day so um yeah this is the book of me there's like so many other memories that i could go on about reading this because i've read this a lot of times um but yeah that's my answer so that is it for the thank you next book tag if you are still here uh, which you're probably not because I ramble a lot, but if you are still here, consider yourself tagged, um, and I will catch you in my next video.